Siddhartha, é, no primeiro bloco, e depois nós comentamos sobre a resposta imune ao novo coronavírus, que ainda há muitas dúvidas sobre essa imunidade, o tempo que ela dura é, e a possibilidade de o vírus sofrer uma mutação, o que faria com que os estudos voltassem a estaca zero. É, a gente pode imaginar que o mundo, graças a essa dúvida e a essa dificuldade de ter uma certeza quanto à imunidade, vai viver de quarentenas intermitentes, a gente vai entrar e sair de quarentenas por muito tempo ainda? E nesse caso, o que, que isso afeta no nosso modo de vida e na maneira como as pessoas vão se relacionar daqui para frente? Well, until we have a vaccine, I think this cycle of quarantines will go on. Um, the only way out really is to, this, there is a, a short way out is to have better medicines against the virus. Um, and several are coming. Um, they are in very advanced phase trials, but there are several that are coming. One of them is in, are some antibodies, not vaccines, but these are human made antibodies against Uh, the virus. Uh, it won't, they don't last, you know, forever. They only last about a month, but at least uh, that is a temporary uh, solution. Um, the vaccine is the long-term solution. Um, the good news is that this virus, at least until now, doesn't seem to show a very high level of mutation, high rate of mutation. So in that sense, it's unlike some viruses that um, show an enormous amount of mutation. Um, and so they, um, uh, I don't, and I, I'm hoping that there will not be a large number of, there are viral mutants, uh, there's no doubt about it, but the number of viral mutations that we've found thus far hasn't seemed to be enormous. Um, and so uh, I'm hoping that that will not be a limitation of the vaccine, but that the vaccine will be able to take care of, uh, you know, virtually Uh, most of the patients, but until we have the vaccine um, or even some effective drugs against the virus, uh, we are still in the middle of this cycle of quarantine and lockdown and shutdown. And there is, and of course, there is no way around it. One way around it is masking. Uh, the, enti the entire, I mean, one thing that people don't realize is that there is one value, one number which dictates whether the virus is going to grow exponentially or it's going to die exponentially. And that is the number of people that you as an infected carrier infect, this uh, so-called R0 or R0. If it is above one, then the virus grows exponentially. If it is below one, the virus decays exponentially. So how do you prevent you, one person from infecting more than one person? Well masking, isolation, quarantine, distancing, and of course, vaccination. Um, so right now, all of those things are the only things that we have. Um, this is why we keep re-emphasizing and emphasizing the value of masks, because that is uh, crucial to the, um, uh, to the uh, protection of people against uh, the virus. This is why we emphasize the value of quarantine and uh, social distancing, all of which are crucial to reducing that value R0 below one. If the value of R0 falls below one, then you can have local breakouts, but essentially the virus will die uh, be, uh, e e e by an exponential decay. Uh, that is a mathematical logic of all viruses, and there is no, uh, there's no, there's no way around it.